Hi guys, welcome. Welcome to the first episode of Let's Fix It. Today we've got an electrical installation. Up here, the old installation. Only had four breakers. We need to install a stove. We need a three phase earth leakage detector. We need a three phase breaker for the stove and our other installations. Lights, stack doors there. What are they called? Power points. So, what we're going to do is chop this out, get the new box in, install this bad boy right up there. This set up here, we've got a earth leakage detector. Our lines come in here, L1, L2, L3, our phases. And we've got a neutral here. This is our incoming lines. And our outcoming lines are connected with this bad boy. This is a three phase shine connector. As you can see, every fourth one is connected together. What we have to do is cut out the fourth one because the fourth one is the neutral. We don't want that, otherwise, we get some fireworks going on. Nice and easy. Get that in there. Nice, and easy installation. Neutral connector. This is our earth, obviously, where all our earth connections were made. All our neutral connections will be made. Now this leakage detector detects any current that's not flowing in and returning out. If it flows anywhere else, like earth for example, 30 milliamps, 0 0.03 of an amp, this will break and shut off all the power to any of these connectors, any of these circuit breakers. So, safety reasons, it's worth the 30, 40 euro you pay. Not bad. So, let's get on with it, huh? I'm going to cut this out here, the old box. An old tiny box. Believe it or not, three phases up here. So, all we have to do is cut the box out, get the new one in. Get it all set up, and away we go. Sounds easy, huh? Well, hopefully it should be. Let's cut this bad boy out here. Get this out. Find out where our old box is. Continue on. Expose the old box so we can find out where our old wires are coming in. We've got to be a bit careful we don't Corrupt them, break them, cut them. Otherwise, we're in a bit of trouble. I have to go back to the beginning. All new wiring. No good. So, we take a bit of care, take a bit of time, and client's happy. Everybody's happy. All right. Obviously, we've got the power off. Hopefully. even break. I don't have too many repairs to do.
because the box is about the same width and there's no con incoming lines so this was the better side to install just a bit of advice folks don't leave the coffee flask around it's full of red dust I just took a gulp nasty a little bit further here a bit hotter too. Just trying to get the break its grip on this plastic box. Don't really care about the box too much. Oh, she's in there good. But we'll get her in. I'll tip you. Okay punters, here we are again, done a bit of a clean up at lunch, fueled up, ready to go for round two. So, we've got our hole chopped out, got our holes in our box, ready to go, let's thread it through, see how she fits. So undo this bad boy because it's a bit of a connection through. Fit. Way too small. So we gotta cut some more out. We've got any boxes in. Got a couple of plugs in the back here. Screw in, fix in. Got a bit of fix up around the wall. Blew out a piece of wall here. That's technically known as shit happens. But that's how it goes. All right, next, get our breakers in, wire them up. We should be good to go once we repair the little bit of damage. Beautiful. Also, I forgot to mention, a new connection for our stove. That's the whole reason we're doing it. I have access to the back of here, it's a storage room. So I went straight through the wall with a trusty Makita. She's a beauty, did the job, got the connection through. So now, again, we wire up, we're good to go. Okay guys, got our installation in. 
Og hvor er der? Hvor er det? Så gør jeg Um, and a couple of other problems here and there, but all sorted out. So, customer happy. Plaster is going to come out, fix the rest of this up. Job done. Thanks very much for coming. Till next time.